you are my first live tour. This is an exclusive. Thank you, thank you. We are about to enter apartment 105 emergency. Please be careful, do not touch things, do not touch the body. As you enter, please file around the body. Do not touch. Do not move. Smells off. Again, this is Tina Woods with Truest Crime Podcast, our first exclusive live tour. This is victim number 47. As you can see, he is laying on the floor. I will take any questions to begin. Is he single? But was he single? Good question. You can see on his hand, uh, there is no ring. So he is not married. However, we have not established relationships. We do not know if he was um, single or in one or many relationships. How much is rent here? <laughs> Actually, it is 960 a month. Fuck that. Plus utilities. Are there any identifying marks on the body anywhere? Uh, as I mentioned, the ligature marks there, uh, there are some questionable little pock marks on the arms. Um, nothing else, no real signs of a struggle, no. What about like beneath the clothes? Have you, have you uh, no, I have not stripped the body. Uh, no, that would be sure. changing the evidence. Um, you can see that the body has started to bloat. However, uh, it has not started the decomposition process yet. Mm. So he's got a, the victim has a Nintendo Switch over there. Is that like evidence or can that, can that just like come home with me? That is evidence. Uh, everything in this room is evidence. Please keep that in mind as you move about the room. However, there may be an estate sale. That's how these things work. Do you know if there's any kind of uh, religious motivation to this murder? Like, is there any kind of signs of cults like followings or anything like that? There is no evidence of any sort of religious motive or MO based on the just looks of the body. There has been no evidence found of Bibles. So no pentagrams. No pentagrams, no tarot cards left in the pockets. No sodomy of any kind. Uh no sodomy as all of the clothing is intact on the body. You could have you could put clothes back on after. So we don't know that for a fact. Effectively, yes, uh, the suspect could put clothing back on the body. Uh, risky move, however, don't you think? Uh, uh, here's Why what I do you think it's risky? Your fingerprints and hairs. All of your DNA could be all probably, over. Probably shaved. Uh, tested, I mean, we, gonorrhea, syphilis, chlamydia, scurvy, diphthera. The STI test is usually not included, but the forensics team could... Uh, include that with the full toxicology report and the autopsy. Sir! You ought to see that dude's better. Admit fucking rips. Please put the victim's items down. All this stuff I came here with. You guys saw me. Sir, we have visual evidence. Yep. What's it? Visually look pretty stunning. <laughs> I thank you for keeping your hands off of the items you and know, the body. You know, for being someone who claims to be a detective, you really should have been able to notice he was wearing all this coming in. Sir, you have two minutes, exactly, to remove all of the victim's items and put them exactly where you found them. That's a weird amount of time. Or you will be escorted from the premises. Escort me to the nearest skate park, right, Ryan? I'll escort you. Are you two working together? I've never seen this guy before. Never met Ryan. Oh, and uh, we're going to need to cut this tour. The cops are officially on their way. I didn't uh, get anything me? on my police scanner. It is my uh, source. Uh, let me know that they are here uh, on your way out. Here are your parting gifts, your goodie bags. Oh, there's not even uh, any evidence in here. I'll give you this, but also something special for you. I'm going to give just, you... Just be three minutes. Three, three minutes. minutes. Three. That's all it takes. Okay. Uh, uh, please exit the premises at the door that way. Are you planning on doing this again? Because if, if you are, I have notes about how you can do this tour better. We, we'll talk about that partnership. Um, if you have any further questions, you can email me at truestcrimepodcast.gov. Sir, uh, just remember to, to wipe everything. 
There's no Detective Harvey down at the station. I called and asked for him because th 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 there's nobody, though. It was a nice enough place, a little out of my price range. Um, yeah, I'd probably come back. Bitch wouldn't let me see his toes. I just wanted to see his fucking toes. Uh, this is Drug Hub uh, Delivery Service. Hi. Hi. D do you have a package for me? I have something for you. <laughs>